Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF. We're on the Price of Game Show. Mike C. And I am Fred White. Today, we talk to you about Callisto Protocol. Now, this is on PlayStation 4, uh, PlayStation 5. Uh, it's also on Xbox, uh, the Series X and S, and the OG yep. Xbox. And you can also find this on the PC. Um, Correct. Truth to be told, I have not played it. Also, the gameplay footage that you are going to be looking at that I took off the Internet. Mike played it, so we're going to depend on him to uh, Mm -hmm, give mm -hmm. us all these facts for this game. Mind you, we implemented a new system with that, and Mike is going to be going over all of that. All right, so, Mike, what do you give this game? Overall, I give it a three, brother. And then I'm about to break it down for you. So three, three is right in the middle of the pack. It's an okay game, okay? Uh, First, uh, this game, if you love Dead Space, this is what this sort of reminds you of. You'll find yourself a lot of times being reminded about game game space. Dead Space, okay? So we're going to start hitting the categories. So uh, graphics. Graphics. Graphics, I give it a four. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um... Great effects. You see the step in technology. Good facial facial animation. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know who the character is? It's uh, Josh Josh Jumel. I think that's his name. You've seen him on Transformers and many other. Uh, he's been in all, almost all the Transformer movies, um, as well as uh, stuff on TV and stuff. Like that. Once you see his face, you're gonna re- recognize who he is. Mm-hmm. Um, fog effects, light effects, they look great. You know what I'm saying? You see, you see the change in far as the uh, how graphics have stepped up. And you just can't help but this feeling like Dead Space, man. It mm-hmm. feels like a Dead Space game, just freshly polished. Mm-hmm. All right. As far as graphics, there you go. Uh, gameplay. Gameplay. <laughs> You're going to hear me say Dead Space a lot, right? It feels <laughs> like Dead, Dead Space, bro. Um, the controller, you know, as far as it feels heavy, you know what I'm saying, like Dead Space did or whatever. You do the little slow type of, you know, the movement as far as... You, you, y'all play Resident Evil, right? So you know what fast, when, when they have like the dash button on Resident Evil, that's what you're feeling as far as with some of the stuff. When you pick up and hit the actual uh, people, whatever, um, it feels like you're hitting the people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and, you, and you feel the vibrations in the controller. And this is one of the games that I think does better as far as if you play it not in headset mode, but in the, uh, but in the regular, have the stereo speaker. If you have your sound system, that's fine and stuff. But... You will want to experience as far as the sound coming out your controller and stuff like that. As far as if they're on the walkie-talkie with you, saying some stuff and feel like you're actually there and feel the vibrations and stuff like that. And a lot of the weapons and stuff feel like that space, you know. So as far as how you can hold people and um, and uh, hold people, then throw them into the gears and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool effect, you know what I'm saying? Uh, destructive type of environment as far as, you know, you can pin people up on walls and stuff like that. Then they mutate and stuff and conform. I think they got a lot of stuff from uh, a, little, a little touch of uh, Resident Evil as far as with the little tentacles and stuff like that. But, hey, tentacles started from Dead Space, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> uh, that's that with uh, with that, as they say. But um, controller, was, controller was tight and responsive, heavy. Inventory and crafting system. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Nothing really blew your mind far as with, with this game. You know, uh, let's go with story. Story is pretty much simplistic, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're this guy that was on the cargo run. Stuff happened, he crash landed. And then they take him to this uh, to this uh, prison facility. And he's treated as a prisoner. And the warden wanted him to stay as a prisoner. So, And then you fight your way through the different corridors and stuff like that. Very much a lot of stuff like Dead Space. He has a uh, indicator on the back of his head as far as showing his health, like Dead Space. Okay, so with that being said, since I'm saying like Dead Space a lot, this is one of the co-creators of Dead Space. So he's 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 uh, creating in his own wheelhouse. So it just feels like Dead Space 2.0, basically. Mm-hmm. That's what it feels like to me. Uh, story very, like I said, very simplistic. You got a main protagonist, and you got a then you, you're going through different things, killing the monsters, trying to discover 
why what's going on with stuff like that. Um, replayability, replayability. Yeah, was it like a two? Did I tell you story was like a three? Okay, mm-hmm. replayability like a two. Once you go through this game, you probably not gonna want to go back through it. Honestly, unless you're you're a completionist to to go get some other stuff or whatever. I really didn't see too much really uh, Easter eggs or really great things as far as with it. I'm not trying to say this is a terrible game. It's just okay. If you play Dead Space, you feel like you played this game, okay? Mm-hmm. So don't expect to be blown away. But if you like, you know, the graphics and stuff like that, survival horror, there might be some couple of little uh, jump moments. I really didn't experience too many of them. Nothing that really catch your mind. Uh, they do the same tentacle uh, gag like, like like they had in Dead Space as far as the thing come out and grab you, then something they're trying to drag into the thing. Not like in Dead Space where they, they grabbed you, then they threw you through this little chute or whatever like that. They didn't do all that, but they're trying to draw you in and basically eat you. So uh, the death animations, what I really don't like, they put death animations behind a paywall, okay, which is totally ridiculous. Yeah, that's stupid. That is the season pass. So you can see some death animations. What? Isn't that supposed to be included with the game? Yes. When have we graduated to see death animations for a game that's $69? It shouldn't be $69, bro. 49 I think, would have been a, a fair deal as far as for this game. But when did we put death animations? Death animations. Not a new character. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not bonus material, you know what I'm saying? Not no cash or anything like that. But death animations, man. Just to see you die differently. Just behind ima- a paywall. Just imagine playing Super Mario Brothers and then jumping on the mushrooms and the game just pops up before, when you get on top of it. The game says 99 cent <laughs> to see this mushroom die. You know what I'm saying? Dude! I mean, like, really, man? Yeah, I, I didn't mean, like, that. Yeah, yeah, that was that was like a blow. That's why I just said this is okay. I didn't play for no season pass. You know what I'm saying? I was really excited about this stuff because I knew who the creator was about this about this game or whatever, but it really was, it felt, it feels really simplistic, you know what I'm saying? Graphics, like I said, was good and everything, but it just really, once I finish beating it, I doubt I'd come back to it. That, but Fred, you can play it. You have, <laughs> you like different games than me. I, I don't think a lot of people will go for this paywall to, for, you know, to see somebody die. I, I don't think that they'll go for that, man. That That's totally ridiculous. That's something actually that they should have put in the game. You know, mm-hmm. that that's like buying a game and you have to pay a penny every time that the uh, start game blinks. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And if you don't right. play, pay, then you can't start your game. You know, yeah. we, we got to deal with enough getting these games home and then not being able to play them until the next day because that's what that's, right. that's how we're going now. You buy the game on a Friday and can't play it on um till this Saturday because there's so much stuff to download because the game is not complete. And hey, you are not getting the game; you're just borrowing it. You know, especially if you yep. do it on digital, you're borrowing oh, digital. the game. Uh, speaking of which, with digital, remember, as far as if they lock your account and stuff like that, you're not getting your game back. If they lock it. Nope, you're not getting it back. Yeah, that's why physical you know why? media is always to... best. That that is correct. That is correct. That is correct. But uh, yeah. So uh, Callisto Protocol, I'm ready to give this thing a final verdict for it. All right, let's give it a final verdict, Mike. Ah, uh, Mike. Uh huh. Is this a buy? Or pass. <laughs> no, it's not. A, it's not a buy. I would say rent if anything, but I will pass it for now until it comes cheaper. You know what I'm saying? It's it's dead space, bro. It's dead space. A fresh. It's an okay game. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't played Dead Space and played this game, I think you would enjoy it better. But once you played something already, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then you try to play another clone or or refacing of the stuff. The groundwork is still there as it being dead space, but. They got a fresh face up on it. Maybe if I didn't play Dead Space first and I played this, I would have liked it more, but I already got too much of something to go off of. I try to judge games about, you know what I'm saying, what they're presenting to me now, but when it's presenting something that I have really definitely have definitely seen before, uh, I have nothing else to compare to than other than that thing. So, yeah, pass for now. Get it when it's cheaper. No. 
Well, y'all heard yeah. it from Mike, and I was about to go get this joint uh, today, but <laughs> I'll wait hey, after hey. the holidays. I bought a physical duck. Hey, I can let you borrow mine, brother. <laughs> borrow mine. <laughs> hey, look, and, and, and the thing too, right? The thing too. I don't think you need anybody to be in the house with you, man. It's not really, it's not no Resident Evil or anything like that, bro. I think you'd be just fine for it. You can probably play this junk in the dark, man. You'd be just fine. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. All right, man. All right, man. So that's it, man. So like always, you guys can hit us up at the game show. Uh, that's the game show with an A. Don't forget to head on Facebook store page to follow all the prices. Don't forget to hit us up with me time. Don't forget to subscribe, become a Games Club member. And don't forget to hit, hit that bell to be notified when we drop videos like these. Tell people about the game show and what we do here. Thanks always. Hey, man. And don't forget uh, this Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we got something very special for you all. We are releasing our two, hopefully, number one hit songs. Our Christmas Carol. <laughs> it's all for the Christmas spirit, baby. You know what I'm saying? We we're in the mood for Christmas, so everybody, my, my, my Mariah Carey got her uh, Queen of Christmas. She want to be called, but the gaming show Mike and Fred wants to be called the Kings of Christmas. So uh, make these songs go viral, man. Share them, spread the holiday cheer. If you love someone, if you if you're on your first date and you want to get romantic with the person, play them these songs, man. I'm telling you, you're going to score. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in. Later. <laughs> later, later y'all. <laughs>